Unless you want your hand chopped off like that guy. Ronan said as he squeezed Cirilla's neck hard. She tried her best to push him away, then cast a magic shield. Ronan raised his hand to stop him and then glanced at her slightly, understanding, so she didn't want to give up that easily, right? The magic shield, it's quite sturdy, but even so. Immediately after that, he used a move, tearing apart Cirilla's protective shield in her surprise. She was so scared that her face turned pale, she couldn't say another word, how could he cut her defensive magic shield? Ronan rushed forward and stabbed her in the chest, causing the Cirilla to continuously squirt out fresh blood. Oh look, you're a half-demon. A half-demon accompanied by a scoundrel magician, who exactly are you people? At this moment, Edion from behind grew a jagged arm like a wooden trunk. He performed a violent explosion and then frantically controlled it towards Ronan. He quickly turned around. Destroy the large fire in front of you. Looking to the side, I only saw the stone giant standing silently. Ronan seemed to understand everything. He continued in a cold voice. That's really strange. I thought I cut off one of your arms. What the hell is going on? With the, is that your disgusting appearance? Edion frantically shouted, stay away from her, you depraved bastard. Ronan quickly pointed his sword at Edion, he also prepared a new move. It seemed like he still didn't understand the current situation, so he stabbed the circler's leg once more. Seeing that, Edion became even more impatient. He gritted his teeth and frowned continuously. Ronan replied harshly, you guys made me so angry, now it's all over. He stabbed the sword harder into the Cirilla's stomach and then made a condition, decided, will you shut up and follow me? Or choose to let me perform another arm amputation with this half-demon girl? and I'm also quite curious about whether she can regrow her arms like you. When Edion heard this, he could only obediently put his magic back and replied, okay, I will follow you, that's a good choice. I also don't want to see any more bloodshed, I said and quickly pulled the sword out of Cirilla's body, causing her to scream uncontrollably. But at the same time, he warned her that if she died, it would be very troublesome. At this moment, he noticed something unusual about her, but wait, what's wrong with her? I just saw Cirilla lying on the ground continuously smiling crazy, why is she smiling in this situation? Immediately after that, the giant's hands approached Ronan. He was a bit startled, since when? He quickly raised his sword to block this blow. Thanks to that, the impact force was significantly reduced, but it was still pushed quite a distance, hitting the large rocks there, creating an earth-shattering explosion. Edion then quickly ran closer, Cirilla are you okay? I'm fine, this time I owe you my life, she said and quickly pressed her hand hard to stop the bleeding in the wound and sat up. If you don't pretend to attack, to attract his attention, then I don't have time to cast spells, blurring his perception. Also activating this giant, I only activated its arm a little, but that guy is definitely seriously injured. Edion nodded slightly, Cirilla you should go to the church first and report this situation. I'll finish off that bastard here to avoid trouble. Cirilla nodded slightly, be careful. That guy is a beast in the form of a child, Edion reassured her, I won't let my guard down anymore, that lesson is more than enough. He is not a child lacking combat experience. If I don't kill him now, he will definitely become a big threat. And Ronan on this side was also slowly standing up in the rubble. Edion guessed part of it so he was even more careful, he couldn't lose sight of him anymore. But he didn't expect that he would have his arms and legs cut off. He kept screaming in pain, then died on the spot. Ronan took a deep breath. She asked in a harsh voice, where do you think you're going? I told you before, I have a lot of things I want to ask you. Cirilla was so scared that her face turned pale and she froze on the spot. How could you still survive after being so seriously injured? She said, panicking and casting the magic circle. Ronan dragged his trembling body step by step closer, then said harshly, I will never. Where can you escape? As soon as he finished speaking, he fell to one knee, as if he had lost the ability to control himself. He kept clenching his teeth and gums, I couldn't control my body anymore. Cirilla on this side also kept thinking, why did the situation get so bad, I'm so uncomfortable, there's so much blood flowing, but since I have no chance of winning in this battle, then it's even better. Prioritize reporting this matter to superiors. Then she tried to calm herself and said loudly, mentally preparing herself. I will find everything that belongs to you, and take it all away forever. Whether it's your lover's family or your friends, the lives of all of them. Ronan remained silent without saying a word. No, I finally found some clues, I can't let her get away so easily like this. Otherwise, everything will end up like that time again. Ronan raised his hand in despair, stood there, and could only watch as the Cirilla's figure grew farther and farther away. I told you to stop. As soon as the words finished, extremely strong killing currents appeared around him, followed by a familiar voice saying, yes, stop there. This made Cirilla so scared that she didn't dare take another step. 
I also have a lot of things I want to ask you. Ronan couldn't believe his ears. The person who came was Professor Nabarose. First let me confirm this. Human, right? Who dares to provoke my disciple? I've heard all the details, it's true that something big happened. Seeing that, Ronan smiled slightly, she really came at the right time. Professor Nabarose, nice to meet you, I didn't expect to see you here. Nabarose still kept her cold attitude as always and replied, still talking like that, looks like you're still healthy. And now, let's deal with that first. Cyrilla's body suddenly trembled, her whole body completely paralyzed under those predatory python-like eyes, don't tell me it was her, why was she here? No, I have to quickly escape from here. Before she could react, Nabarose rushed forward and squeezed her mouth hard. Questioning harshly, you have done many things that should not have been committed, but the thing that angers me the most. It was you who dared to touch my student. Cyrilla was so scared that her face turned pale and she didn't even dare to look directly into Nabarose's eyes. What can you look forward to? The future is wide open before my eyes. Then she pulled the Cyrilla's face closer to the giant green python. She let out a scream of pain, then her eyes quickly closed. Falling on the ground, I'm sorry oh star. Seeing this, Ronan quickly came closer to observe. Nabarose sighed softly, you've worked hard. After treating the wound, we will privately inform the principal about this. Before he could finish his sentence, Ronan asked again, Professor, about the future you mentioned earlier. By any chance are you talking about Rodolan prison? That's it, so I already know about that place, but why ask? Ronan didn't say anything more, just thought to himself, it's just like I thought. Rodolan's Screaming Fortress is a prison located in the middle of the sea. A place to detain criminals against the empire, famous for its brutal interrogation methods, ready to use anything to make prisoners confess, if that's the case. Then please professor, allow me to participate in her interrogation, Nabarose frowned slightly, what are you talking about? That's not where I am, Ronan immediately held her hand tightly, constantly begging, just once, please professor. This is very important to me. After hearing that, Nabarose just widened her eyes in surprise. Aid from this side also quickly arrived to rescue the injured. There were many blacksmiths who were seriously injured. Others are in better condition. Maria now dared to breathe a sigh of relief, it seemed everything had been resolved. Isn't that right, Acel, you and Sita only showed a haggard look after listening, then kept nodding, yes, that's really lucky. Then he looked extremely worried, Ronan should have returned early, what happened? You guys called me. Maria Acel, the two of them turned around in surprise. Then I saw Ronan smiling and waving. Just as I was walking up I heard my name, you three did a great job. I also heard that when Maria brought reinforcements, Acel and Sita had rescued more than half of the blacksmiths buried underground. Is anyone injured? Maria frowned slightly. We should have asked that question, why do you look so devastated, you're injured all over your body. Acel couldn't hold back her tears, gently raised the Sita towards Ronan, quickly go and bandage it. Ronan listened and just waved his hand repeatedly, no need, I've already treated the wound, you rest first. Having said that, he immediately turned back, further. It turned out that both Eduon and Cyrilla fainted and were captured by them. I still have things to take care of first. A few hours later they were there, the rendezvous point to take the prisoners to Rodolin, which was at the cliff in the Grunno forest. Nabarose immediately recognized the sound of footsteps. They arrived, immediately followed by the loud sound of a giant falcon. A escort team from Rodolin. After landing, the mysterious person quickly walked down. Respectfully, hello Miss Nabarose. We received the summons from the Empire, to escort prisoners, it's them, right? That's right, this man has a very strange healing ability, remember to keep that in mind when interrogating. After hearing this, the person wearing the bird mask replied meaningfully, oh is that so, our interrogator will surely be very happy. It's been a while since I received an interesting toy like this. After that, they quickly picked up the Eduon and Cyrilla and turned to leave, so we asked permission to go first. We will contact you when the interview is over. I hope you will continue to strive for the peace of the empire. As soon as the words ended, the giant bird and the small prison cart quickly flew up. Wait until they leave Nabarose before continuing. It usually takes about a week for Rodolin to pry open their mouths. When they contact me, I will let you know, so you can prepare to leave when the time comes. There's no need for anything else, right? Ronan next to him nodded slightly, yes, professor. As soon as he finished speaking, Nabarose quietly left there as quickly as flying on a gust of wind. The time that followed passed very quickly, the process of remodeling Cappadocia went very smoothly, with the support of the Empire. I also went back to school, and spent time taking supplementary courses from professors. Just like that for the next few days. Create a Rodolin screaming fortress. Screams of pain and suffering continued throughout the day and night. 
with all kinds of different torture tools. Damn, I was so involved that I almost forgot, isn't it about time? Guests visit the stars.